Do your job. Do your job. Thank you. If they would just do that, we wouldn't be standing here today. So to the women and to the girls of this nation, to good feminists everywhere, and to our opponents on the abortion issue, please listen and see the women here speaking today. See them. We should be able to agree on one thing and work hard to secure that, and that is the health and safety of women self-aborting alone and in the shadows of our communities all across this nation. We certainly do not have complete agreement upon the fact that there are two patients in every pregnancy, but we can at least pledge ourselves to one patient, the woman receiving abortion drugs in the mail, in her home, alone, and without necessary pre-exams, increasing her possibility of hemorrhage, infection, an ER visit, and that she will be exploited by a man in her life. She has become her own abortionist in an unsafe home abortion clinic. Listen, please listen and care, anyone who cares about the lives and health of women. She deserves our focus attention today. This requires there be a detachment from the ideological commitment to abortion as an institution and allow that to give way to a commitment to women themselves, ourselves. And this also requires that she be seen, that Elizabeth be seen, that Kelly and Leslie, who were alone and traumatized, as you just heard, are seen and heard, and that the FDA do their job to respond and protect them and all women across this country, and our girls, and the girls that will be women, that, are, that will be mothers themselves. They deserve that protection. Please look at our sbaprolife.org website and see more of those stories. See and hear them. Friends on the other side, listen to the women who are hurting and respond with our same commitment to help them. The FDA broke the law and its own rules when it virtually, when it, when it removed virtually every safeguard, every standard, ignoring the women's need for in-person visits and ongoing care when taking dangerous abortion drugs. Every woman, every woman's organization in this country should come together and demand that the FDA stop the politics. And we must demand FDA do your job. That's it.